Hi guys. How are you out there? Today is Sunday, so today I'm doing a Sunday dinner. So we're having short ribs today. Short beef ribs that I'm gonna be using in my cast iron pot today. As you can see here on the stove, I have my cast iron pot I'm using. I have my stove set on 400. So I'm going to be baking my short ribs in my oven for about an hour. I would say maybe an hour or to an hour and 15 minutes. So let's get started. I started washing my meat before, so I'm going to pour some more vinegar on my meat here. Not too much. I'm gonna slice my lemon and my lime. Okay. All right, guys. Let me turn this down. Turn down my fan so you can hear me. Again, if you didn't hear me, we are doing. I'm doing um, short ribs today. So I'm gonna start off by slicing my line. I gotta sharpen my knives too because my knife, my knife is getting a bit dull on me now. I can feel it. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna take my line and squeeze it on my meat. Just rub it to clean it. Again, these are short ribs. I don't know if you can see it here. Um, I'm holding it up. Short square ribs. I'm going to rub my line on them to clean them off. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm washing my hands now because I have to get my salt now to put on my meat to make sure I clean my meat well. So, getting my salt. And my oil to place in my pot. Again, this is vegetable oil. I don't want too much grease because the um not I put enough oil so I can like get a sauce and a nice caramelize a nice little caramelization going on on my um, beef ribs my short ribs I mean okay. I tell you they are really really some of them are really big and really thick so cutting them some of them down because they're really thick Some of them are really thick, guys. So, really, really healthy and thick. I like some of the fat to stay on my short ribs. Usually, I would cut off some of this fat, but being that they really have a lot of meat on them, you don't want to cut away all your fat on them. You want to leave, wait, get rid of some fat, but you want to leave some fat on them because the fat. Is what helped make make them taste good. So again, you don't want to get rid of all the fat, just a little bit. So I cut some of the fat off. Because to me, um, the fat on your meat, to me, it helps your meat digest better in, in your system, to me. Especially when it comes to red meat. Um, I don't eat a lot of red meat. I mostly eat chicken and turkey. More, more than anything, chicken and turkey and um, goat and lamb. So, occasionally I'll eat some beef. And once in a blue moon, I would eat pork. But um, I'm going back on the path of cutting pork out of my diet altogether again. Because, guys, if I tell you the story what happened to me years ago, for some reason, when I used to eat pork many years ago, I would be sick. 
And no matter how my mom would cook it, it just wasn't something that I cared for. So it was late. It was late in my 30s when I started eating um, pork. I was like around 37, 38 when I started eating um, pork. So now I'm going back to cutting it out of my diet altogether again. But anybody that likes pork, I'm not against anybody eating pork. And pork is something that I would do for my family or friend if they ask me to do a, a, a dinner for them or a meal for them. I, I would cook it for them. But, you know, doing pork dishes for someone in my family that likes it, I have nothing against it. You know, everybody have a right to eat whatever he or she chooses. Again, you want to cut some of the fat off, but not off. Well, to me, the fat is what helps flavors your meats. to cut some fat off. So now I'm just gonna squeeze my lime again right here. Cut it, cut my lime in half. Okay. So now I'm gonna drain this. Drain, but uh, pick up all that fat. Okay. Alrighty. Turn that on. Take out some of the fat in my bowl. Just turn down my grease over here. As you can see, my grease is getting hot. My grease is hot. Okay. Okay, I'm to put it back into my bowl. Soap. All right, I wash my hand with the hot warm hot water. Okay. I'll turn this completely off. Oil. 
my oil is hot, so I'm going to switch the pots around. Okay. Okay. Uh, kosher salt here. As you can see, I'm sprinkling kosher salt on my meat because now I'm going to take my hands and go in my meat again to wash my meat with some kosher salt. My beef, and I put my limes on it again. I rub my limes all over it. So I wash my hands again, guys. Now I'm gonna take some fresh lemon juice. Hold on, guys. I have to go over here in my pantry. Lemon juice here. Shake it up. Okay. All right. Put some on my meat. run on my meat for a moment. Put this back on the eye. Oops, burnt myself guys. But it's okay. My towel up on the floor. lit on my toaster right now. All right, I'm going to move out my peppers. Okay. Now, my meat. All right. I'm going to bring my meat up out of the Place my meat here in my glass pan. Okay. I finished to wash my short ribs. They're nice and clean. They're in hot water, so I wash them with salt, vinegar, and lemon, lemon juice, and regular limes and lemon juice. So now I'm shake them out of this water here. Place them in my glass pan. This is two packs of short ribs that I'm doing because I want it to last for at least um, 
I want this to last for at least three days. Being that the meat is nice and thick. So everyone would get one piece per day on their plate. Because the food is beginning to be so expensive, so you have to start cutting back on your foods in order to afford, in order to be able to afford to even eat. Especially if you are a meat eater. Um, beef is just very expensive right now. Now I'm going to pick up all that fat and that lemon that I washed the meat with and throw it in the trash. Okay, this is the fat guys. See all that nasty fat? It came off my meat. This is going in the garbage. Put it here in this plastic bag. I placed it in a plastic bag, guys. You see? It's in a plastic bag. <sighs> Alright, so I'm going to rinse my bowl out. I got to go in and spray everything down. Oh, I left one of my pieces of my yeah. Alright, so I don't want this to be a long video, but I'm not going to spend my time um, washing my hands and stuff because I don't want this video to be a long time. I'm just going to show you guys how I clean the meat and now I'm going to season it and then do a little sear on it and get it in the oven. Okay. All right, now, as you can see, I'm turning my fire back on on my oil. I turned my grease back on. Now I'm going to season this meat with my lower seasoned salt. Lori seasoned salt. Black pepper. Adobo. And the powder. This is the garlic powder. All right. Onion powder. Paprika. Okay, let's see over here. You guys know I have to use tongues and stuff in order to get my other spices, especially the ones that's in the back, because I'm not a very tall woman. This one is cayenne pepper. I have to have my cayenne on my, my meats and my food. Cayenne pepper. Okay, so that one, yeah. Then I'm gonna use some of my Goya seasoning here. Nor. This is nor. Okay, I 
drop the box. Let me sit that there and pick up the box. Sorry. Oh. Goya. Sasson. You want two packs of that. Okay. So you want to put all this other spice back because I finished to put all of that on the on my meats. Oh crap. I need a more space. I don't have enough counter space. That fell into the sink. My cayenne pepper fell in the sink so I have to rinse that off and use some Clorox wipes to wipe it down after I finish using my food. But in the meantime, we put all this stuff back in here. Okay. it on because you're going to take your hand and mix all those good seasonings in your meat. Okay, so don't worry if the meat, if one side can get some seasoning. You're going to rub it all over the meat to just give you your spices anyhow. So about that. You're going to get your hands dirty, especially when it comes to you cooking in your kitchen. Your hands are going to get sorted. Soil. To me, sorting your hands, cleaning your meat, and seasoning your meat, that's what gives you the good flavors on your meats. Okay, I'm going to put that one down. See how I'm going to sear it. Just rub them bones together. Rub that meat together. See that? The bones are big. Uh. Again, all that season that you just dumped over in there, they all gonna get seasoned. Just rub them together. See how the season went on all of them? Then you just want to fry it a little bit to get a coating on it. To get a beautiful caramelization going on it. And you don't want to overcrowd the pot. So you fry one side, then you flip it over and fry the other side. Then you add the other ones in. And that's that guys. They're nice and seasoned. Now I'm gonna mess my hand off. Let's go over the trash I have here. Some green fat. Okay, brought that over to the trash can, guys. So now, gotta wash my hands again. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. I have to chop up my yucca. We're having yucca, sweet potatoes, and fried sweet plantains. 
with the short ribs. I'm washing my knife off now. Okay. Finish the one with that. Alright. Got my knife. Put that aside right here. My cutting board. Take, take my tongue, turn my heat up, turn up to that heat. Oh, I need my tongues, guys. I gotta wash my tongues. Take your tongue and you want to turn it over because you just want to get caramelization on the meat. That gives the meat a color. And you want to turn it over and do the same thing on each side. And after I get caramelization on, on the meat, then once all of them had a chance to get that beautiful brown color. So I'm going to let those fry a minute and then I'm going to take those out and put those in. Okay. Once I do that, I'll be back. Hi guys. I'm back so I finished to chop up my garlic and I finished to also put the sear on the meat so now I'm gonna add in my garlic as you can see here the garlic so I'm gonna put the garlic into my meat and some onions as well and pieces of onions and I'm gonna place this dish in the in the stove and let the meat cook for an hour the short ribs all right now I finished to sear it and everything so now I'm gonna put the lid my cast iron lid over it so now I'm gonna have Andre if he could sit it in the stove for me because this cast iron pot guys is really heavy if andre if you could put this in the stove for me please the cast iron pot is heavy guys and um i'm having back issues so i cannot lift this heavy pot lift the pot so now guys I'm gonna prep I finished to me wipe off my cutting board okay I need my garlic and stuff so let me wipe my cutting board off here I just chopped up the garlic so I have some garlic left here for my I have some pieces of garlic left for um my yucca. I'm having yucca today. So let me show you guys. I finished to wash and clean my sweet potatoes, my yucca, and as you can see I have my yucca right here. So I'm going to chop it up. I'm going to put some water in a pot right now so I can get that on the stove. Here's my pot for my yucca. You don't want too much water because when you put the yucca 
in the pot, it will cause the water to rise. So. in this pot here so I'm gonna put some salt in the pot for the yucca not too much just a little bit to help flavor my yucca so right now guys I'm gonna cut up my yucca okay I'm gonna sit this bowl here on top of my toaster I'm gonna get my knife use my knife off all right so, I'm going to cut the end of that off. So, I'll be guys, back, guys. So, right now, I'm going to chop up my yucca and get it on the stove. Okay? I'm going to prep all my sides. I'll be back. guys I'm back right now I'm doing the green plantains Now I'm frying up some crunchy green plantains right now, okay? See if it's crunchy. Mm. It's really good. It's ready. Now, they are so good. I wish you guys was here to enjoy this meal with me tonight. Mm. 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 Again, fried green plantains. So now I'm going to check my short ribs. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that down here. Okay, wow. It looks delicious, guys. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, they fall right off the bone. They're ready. Oh, yes. They are ready, guys. Oh. Yes. That's delicious. Okay, I'm gonna push them back in. I'm gonna turn the stove off. They're ready. Turn it off. The only thing I have left to do now is my yellow plantains. I have to fry up my yellow ones and I've done my green ones. Now, I've done my um, my yucca. I sauteed it, my garlic, my onions, my red peppers, my green peppers for my yucca. And I season it with adobo and just a pinch of salt and black pepper, the onions. And then I have my sweet potatoes. I'm just going to place them around my short ribs with the sauce on top of them from my short ribs. And I have my fried green plantains. Now I'm going to fry up my yellow plantains. I'll be back. Lorraine's Kitchen. All right, guys. So now I'm going to fry up my yellow. My yellow plantains here. These are the yellow ones. I finished to fry the green ones. So now I'm gonna do the yellow. And then this the flesh will come that you kind of keep. So this piece here you take this off too. Okay, I'm gonna turn my fire down and low while I finish to slice these. I'm slicing them in halves. Okay, guys, I'll be back. The rain's kitchen. Hi, guys. I'm back. So, right now, I'm done with supper, so now I gotta feed my family. So what I'm doing right now, I'm taking the onions, the garlic, the red peppers, and the green peppers, and I'm gonna put them here on my yucca. I'm gonna place this delicious garlic on my yucca. This garlic, onions, and peppers. Oh my God, guys. This looks so delicious. Okay. I'll bring it closer so you guys can see what I've done. over here I'm gonna bring my video closer so you can see what I did over here I have my my salad this is the coleslaw salad so I'm going to mix it with my tongues Rinse it off. So now 
I'm going to mix up the salad. See, as you can see, this is my coleslaw salad with corn and uh, bits, pieces of um, fried onions, fried onions inside my coleslaw. So I mix my coleslaw, so I don't have to put the coleslaw on it once I put it in the plate. And over here, I have my yellow plantains. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to get a better focus here. Beautiful yellow plantains. Then here, I have my sweet potatoes. And over here, I have the yucca. Um, let me lift one up so you can see over there see that's the yucca right there oh delicious and i have some here in the pot as well that's yucca and i swear i sauteed the onions and peppers and garlic and over here guys i have the main course which is there you go short ribs they are delicious. It smells so wonderful in here. I wish you guys could share this meal with me. But follow what I did. Um, and you can prepare it for your family as well. In this pot, I have my the rest of the sweet potatoes I boil. And here in my microwave, I have my fried green plantains this is the fried green plantains I have the fried green plantains so I'll be back once I plate it hi guys I'm back I finished to plate my meal here I have sweet potatoes, yucca, short ribs, tontos, fried green plantains, and I have the yellow sweet plantain as well that I fried right here. So now I'm going to do a taste sample for you guys. Let me taste everything. Oh, it smells good. I know it's delicious. Here I go with the salad first. I have my coleslaw salad. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I'm going to try the yucca. And some onion and garlic. Mm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. A sweet potato. And here is the short rib, a piece of it. Mm. Nice and tender. Now I'm going to start a sweet plantain. Sweet planting. Mm hmm. Mm. A 10 out of a 10, guys. Oh my God. Mm. You hear that crunch? Mm. The tontos, which is the green plantains, they are absolutely delicious. Mm. The whole meal. Follow along my recipe that I did. Share. Comment. Give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel. But most of all, share, like, and comment on the videos. Okay, guys? And give me a thumbs up. And let me know if you guys want me to continue to make any more meals. Because I was thinking about to cutting down on 
cooking right now and focus on the family channel give my family channel more attention because I have so many food videos and I really need you guys to go through those videos and give me thumbs up on those videos that I've done already to get the channel moving to get the channel going please go back and review the videos that I posted already on the food channel which is Lorraine's kitchen fusion bash that's the food channel and get those numbers up for me guys give me some thumbs ups subscribe to the channel give me some comments and let me know if you want me to continue preparing meals that you guys can also follow along and learn to do with you do for yourself and prepare it for your your husbands your boyfriends your children your loved ones and overall yourself as well so thank you again for following me here on my channel love you guys stay healthy stay happy and stay blessed good night lorraine's kitchen